This is your host, Pete Moore, and I am pleased and humbled to announce the launch of my one and only book titled Time to Win Again, 50 Takeaways from Playing and Watching Team Sports to Guarantee Your Business Success. Those of you who know me personally and anyone who listens to Halo Talks for any length of time know that I am an avid sports fan and a big believer in the value of team sports. What I've seen over the past 25 years helping businesses grow, raising capital, being an entrepreneur myself, in coaching and mentoring executives in the sector, it's the lessons learned on the field perfectly apply to business. Entrepreneurs, executives, managers, you name it. Every company that's a strong company has got a good team. It's a quick read. There's awesome illustrations in there from our good friend Mark at Cruelty Free Cartoons. If you go to integritysq.com, enter your email address, and we will send you information on the book and the Entrepreneur's Survival Kit as well. Be great. Take names. Go Halo. This is Pete Moore on Halo Talks NYC on location, South Bay, California entrepreneur been on shark tank about to take on the pro shop industry to get cleaner products into our brethren here alex bear welcome to halo talks thank you peter yeah thanks for having me on the show man glad we made this happen yeah awesome so you're coming from genius juice uh why don't you give us a little bit of background uh, i've obviously done my research but talk about how you kind of stumbled upon this product and then decided hey i'm gonna dedicate my life to uh to the halo sector if you will yeah yeah i mean uh long story i'll try to do uh this long story in a short fashion um essentially i was i was insurance insurance agent for seven years every single morning i would uh blend smoothies um i was a, ve- a vegan um like half of california <laughs> uh about 15 years ago and i think it's pretty well stereotyped that if you're from california either you drive an electric car you're a vegan or you do yoga. So those are the three big ones right there. Mm -hmm. So uh, I I love making smoothies in the morning. I fell in love with the fact that I could get something on the go that gives me great uh, sustainable energy uh, in a really clean format. And uh, so I would literally be knocking on doors, you know, all day um, when I was working with Aflac business to be each door was about a mile apart. Because right. I would go to, I uh, wasn't homes, I would go to industrial parks and business plazas, big buildings, big warehouses, you know, in Carson, California, and different areas that are not far from you. And um, yeah, so from there, I'm like, okay, I'm done with insurance. There's only so many times I can sell an accident, um, you know, our hospital plan. So <laughs> I need to do something else. And I stumbled upon an idea from a friend of mine. Uh, they invited me over to their home. Uh, it was actually someone I met for my work, uh, husband and wife, and they cooked me a, a vegan or vegetarian dinner. And then for dessert, they're like, hey, have you ever had a coconut smoothie? I'm like, what, what the hell is that? And it's basically the whole coconut cracked open. You take the water and the meat, blend it together. Really creamy. And I remember looking at it for the first time. It was like vibrant, creamy, filling, just two ingredients, just the whole coconut blended. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, damn, this is genius. This is a genius concept that I really need to come up with and bring it to the market. So that's how genius was born. Got it. So what's the coconut supply right now? Because you got all these coconut milks and you got some other types of products that are, I don't know, they're trying to turn everything into milk these days, whether it's a fruit or a vegetable. So how how you, where, where do you get your coconuts from? How's that? Did you become like an expert on supply chain and logistics as part of this uh, entrepreneurial venture? Yeah, so we get the coconuts from Thailand. Um, We looked at coconuts from all over the world, you know, Mexican coconuts. I remember getting samples, you know, from a Brazilian Mexican coconuts, Sri Lankan coconuts, which is the king coconut, the, the gold coconuts. Okay. And I just remember that the Thai coconut was just by far the best tasting coconut. And right around that time when we launched in 2014, another brand uh, called Harmless Harvest, you know, which is still around and doing well today. I just remember drinking their coconut water and being like, they have a great coconut water. I mean, I like to give props, you know, no matter Mm -hmm. if they're in the same space as us, they're a competitor. 
I don't like to bash competition, especially when they have a great product. So I'm like, Harmless has a great product, just the Thai coconut water. Um, I think I'm, I've fallen in love with the Thai coconut. Mm-hmm. So the Nam Ham coconut, Nam Ham means sweet fragrance or sweet aroma in the Thai, in, uh, the Thai language. Uh, lives up, it lives up to its name. So mm-hmm. that's, that's our supply chain. And we bring in several containers a month now. We probably produce over 20,000 coconuts a day when we're in production. Wow. So it's a big operation. We've grown considerably and scaled. And we really pride ourselves on the simplicity, the taste, and the benefits of using coconut water and coconut meat um, in every single bottle that we, that we produce. Yeah, great. So at, at, at what point, I think you were on Shark Tank probably a year and a half ago, two years ago. Does that sound about right? Yep. Yeah, we aired uh, January 19, 2020. 2020. Yeah, 2020. That's right. So, um, did talk to uh, talk to us for a minute. How did how did you get on there? Like, what's the process? And um, I feel like people just watch the show but don't actually motivate to apply as much as I thought they would. Yeah, I mean, the process is that um, I mean, things were totally haywire last year with the pandemic. The way that you apply, I think this year it's still the same. It's all virtual. Mm-hmm. Uh, but normally you go. It's like American Idol. If you ever okay. watch that show, I, sure. you probably have where everyone lines up at a stadium or like some kind of venue. And then like they bring you in one by one, you present in front of, you know, some casting agents. So it was the same thing. And uh, I actually auditioned uh, four times. So wow. it wasn't three times a charm. It was four times a charm. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's one of the key taglines I have when it comes to my Shark Tank experience. Um, I think I realized why I did so well my fourth time. Uh, The reason was, you know, the first time was in like a convention, some kind of office convention center. Uh, Second time was in Salt Lake City at, I think, a college. Third time was at the mall in San Francisco. These are all just not my kind of venue. The fourth fourth time, I used to be a poker player. I used to play Texas Hold'em. I was in the World Series of Poker. I was in one of the events. I, I used to play three times a week because, you know, when you're selling insurance, you got to get do something to get your mind off insurance. So poker was great for that. Okay. Um, you know, not to downplay insurance. Great. It's just boring as hell. So uh, so essentially uh, the trial, the auditions was at a casino, uh, Pachanga, I believe, or it was, it was I think with Pachanga. And I'm like, man, I feel right at home here. You know, right. I used to play poker at that <laughs> table over there. You know, the, the, the whole Texas Hold'em tournaments. I feel great here. And so, like, I just naturally went through my pitch. I was loose. I was carefree. And then the rest was history. I got invited back. And then there's a couple more hurdles uh, to get on. So it, it was about a two or three month process. Uh, for anyone that is applying to be on Shark Tank, it's probably less less time intensive as it was uh, compared to before. Uh, but it's a lot of time jumping through hurdles, doing multiple interviews, multiple presentations, you have to send in videos. And I think, um, every year, like from what I remember, at least about 30 or 40,000 people try out. And at the end of the day, only about eight to a hundred are actually aired per season. So like, you know, the, the chances of being aired is like, you know, 800 or 80 out of 30,000. You do the on it's pretty low. It's like 0.002%. Mm-hmm. But once you actually get on the show, it's obviously very rewarding. You get aired, even more rewarding. So it was a great experience. Yeah. So, so you end up getting two sharks to, to actually put money in? Yeah, so I'm very open about this. Um, some some Shark Tank alumni are not. I just figure, you know, the way I do business is be really transparent, upfront, and you know, and just you know, confide and release the information that's true. So basically, we got a deal on the air for five hundred thousand um, dollars. Mark Cuban and Barbara Corcoran uh, for twenty five percent of Genius Juice. The deal actually fell through after. Okay. So uh, we went through negotiations, went through term sheets. We didn't really get far down the road. We went back and forth maybe twice. And I've um, unfortunately, I've heard many stories where the entrepreneur just tries to hang on, you know, for months, trying to get the deal done, trying to push for better terms. They end up spending 
a lot of money, probably more than what they would have raised from the sharks just on the So I just figured, you know what, either the deal's meant to be or it's not. So the deal actually ended up falling through. You know, we mm-hmm. mutually walked away. It just wasn't a fit for us. You know, great experience. Spent about a month trying to go back and forth, and we decided not the right deal for us, for our company and our growth, and we moved on. However, the show great, did air. Great exposure, we got, huh? We got yeah. the exposure. Awesome. We got, a, we got a quarter million in sales in the first week. Um, it definitely hurt that we didn't raise the money. We definitely wanted to raise that money from the Sharks at that point in time. But right after we aired on Shark Tank, we raised literally half a million dollars within one month. So whatever we would, we would have raised from the Sharks, we raised it from others. So it ended up working out, you know, regardless right, good. for Genius Good, to hear. good yeah. to hear. You know, so but I've looked at a lot of different types of beverage companies. Um, you know, from a standpoint of, of giving a roadmap to other entrepreneurs, you know, what were the first couple of key hires that you made? Obviously, you're skilled and talented from your insurance days. No, I'm just kidding. I'm assuming you love the product. Hey, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm kicking ass here. And like, I'll figure this out as I go. Um, so you know, what were some of the key hires? Cause I, and, and to, to, the reason why I ask is some people come in, they say, I'm raising this amount of money. I'm like, okay, you know, what are your top three people that you got to bring on to this team to make sure you can win? I think uh, I have two top hires that I'm really, really proud of. Um, these are warriors that, you know, to them, obviously, they're, they need to get paid, but it's not about the money. It's about the passion for the product, the motivation, and the fire under their ass to really grow the company quickly because they see a, a really big opportunity with Genius Juice to become you know, a $50, $60, 70000000 million a year brand, right? And we're on our way there. Uh, first hire is Gavin Mindy. I just have a big shout out to him. He's our national sales director. He, uh, you know, he's from South Africa. So he's a fellow Elon Musk, you know, fan. Mm -hmm. And uh, he used to run restaurants and nightclubs. He was an entrepreneur, general manager, managed finances, um, you know, knows how to do taxes, accountants, accountancy stuff, great in sales as well. So he, when he moved over here, I hired him. Mm -hmm. Um, He also used to work, used to work in the energy sector, energy drink sector, I should say. Oh, so, so like he has a lot of experience with like, you know, all these different energy, energy drinks that are on the shelf. And uh, when I first met him, I'm just like, this guy has a lot of energy, no pun intended, probably had too many energy drinks in his day. And uh, it's kind of dangerous when you work for an energy drink company. It's like when you get unlimited energy drinks that could lead to a, a lot of energy. So we were, we were, we were interviewing someone the other day and they said that, uh, the monster, uh, energy drink is the best performing stock on the stock market over the past like 15 years. And it just pummeled distribution. And I didn't even know that they were in like the top, you know, 10% of publicly traded businesses. Yeah. I didn't know they were that high on publicly traded. I think they got, they eventually got bought by Coke, you know, so, uh, they're under the Coke umbrella now, um, uh, the court, the corporate machine. Um, but yeah, so Gavin was a great hire. And then we also recently hired in the last six months or three months, uh, Casey Playcheck. She's an operations manager, just people that know how to do it. They get things done. You don't have to ask twice. They're highly yeah. motivated. Um, that's the type of team player that I look for, you know, they're there to help grow the business. No, drama, no ego, just get shit done. That's the type of person I like to work with. And, uh, they exhibit that kind of trait. So that's uh, really two hires that I'm very proud of. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing that with us. So, you know, when you look at, um, you know, all these different drinks that come out and I'm sure, you know, you're on some newsletter where you're like, oh, somebody's coming up with some, you know, concoction now. And you talk about the, the, you know, from a cleanliness standpoint, you know, from an organic standpoint, obviously there's athletes that are in the news every now and again, because there's some, hormone that was in some burrito that they ate in some place and you know their olympic medals are at risk so t- talk about you know the simplicity of the product and um and then somewhat of a infomercial if you will for us to get this product into a lot of health clubs and fitness studios yeah um, uh, it's a great thing that you brought up i mean look um the problem is that there's a lot of drinks that are on the market that market themselves as healthy and clean 
it says it on the label, like, oh, this is great. This is organic. This is this, this is that. And then you kind of, you know, you take the bottle and you turn it around. You're like, this is really not good for me. Like, <laughs> like what's right. on the front does not reflect what is on the back of a bottle. Right. And so like this started to really piss me off. Just kind of what motivated me and was the vehicle for me to create genius juice. I'm like, these are not health beverages. They're loaded with sugar. They're loaded with gums, emulsifiers, artificial and natural flavoring, <clears throat> just a step removed or a couple steps removed from being a product and, and definitely not from nature, like straight from nature. So with ours, the things we pride ourselves on, the fact that it's called Genius Juice, we have a new marketing campaign, which is saying we have no dumb stuff in our product. We're Genius Juice. There's no dumb stuff. So there's no gums. There's no emulsifiers. There's no natural flavorings. Uh, there's no stevia. I mean, a lot of people hate stevia. Yep. Uh, we're actually removing monk fruit out of our protein smoothies. We had monk fruit for the, for the initial launch. A lot of people that love our product said, why add a sweetener? Just use the coconut is naturally sweet. Why add anything mm -hmm. else? It's perfect. Exactly the way it's from nature. So we just really pride ourselves on having less than 10 ingredients per bottle. Our number one seller has only two ingredients. Number two seller has only five ingredients. And just having the cleanest plant-based smoothie on the market. So that's what we're about. And we also have a new protein line, which came out about three months ago. Uh, it's, ex it's, a, it's exclusive in Sprouts for right now, mm -hmm. starting in summer, like August, September of 2021. It'll be opened up to any and all accounts that want to bring it in. And I really think it's a great fit for gyms. You know, now gyms are reopening. People are going out and working out again. You don't have to wear masks inside, which are... Wearing a mask inside and working out just doesn't mix. Yeah, I didn't. I tried it a couple of times. It didn't work for me. You know, a lot of clubs, you know, had smoothie bars, but when you you take the amount of time that it takes to make the smoothie, plus the theft, plus them also working the front desk and not greeting members, you know, having something in a bottle that meets the the same needs is uh, definitely a more efficient way to run a a health club operation. Yeah, it's like really just a grab and go, right? Like having a you know, like a genius protein, right? You know, this is yeah. our top selling protein skew, just vanilla protein with functional ingredients that boost your mind and your body and your energy uh, with clean plant-based protein and nothing else added, no dairy, no gluten. You know, it's just a great grab and go that you can buy it within two seconds. You can pound it right before a work or right after a workout. Doesn't slow you down, gives you energy, nothing weird in there, makes you feel good and gives you a great workout. So that's really all about awesome all right well we'll put in the uh we'll put in the show notes the information on accessing uh product and talking to your team on uh on, on halo channel uh sales you got any uh, uh quotes that you live by or quotes that you uh that come out of uh the genius uh network besides the uh no no dumb no dumb stuff any qu uh, business quotes that you like yeah, there, there's a uh, one or two. Uh, one thing I want to mention because this is going to be uh, video and audio, right? I think, or is it just video? We do, we do, we do audio. Audio. Yeah, we could okay. go. Yeah, we could go. But but we can we can caricature up whatever you want to you have want to share right now. Yeah. So the one thing I want to share just is uh, my contact info, uh, Alex at GeniusJuice.com. Um, if you're interested in doing wholesale with us, email orders with an S at the end at geniusjuice.com. Our website is geniusjuice.com where you can purchase the product. Uh, use Genius 10 as a coupon code, your first purchase, and get it for five bucks a pop, pretty much the same exact price I'd be in the store. And it's delivered fresh to your door with ice packs, which you can reuse for those sore muscles after working out. And uh, straight to your door within about two to three days. Anywhere in the country, we delivered a 99.7% of all households across the country. So uh, yeah, appreciate that support. And hopefully you can uh, bring, you know, order the product. As far as quotes go, um, I, I like the one from Woody Allen, you know, being that I'm a quirky Jewish guy, you know, just like him. Uh, I think he said half of success, or I think it was either 50% or 90%. Uh, so don't quote me on this quote. All right. He said something we'll like- mis We'll misquote you. How's that? Exactly. It's a misquote. Yeah. A yeah, misquote. It's a misquote. So uh, it's a quote of a quote. So uh, <laughs> it's 50% uh, of success is just showing up. So there you go. 
Awesome. All right. Well, from a fellow Long Island Jew to a Redondoian, <laughs> uh, we'll uh, we'll take this podcast to the rest of the tribe. Good to see. You. I'll meet you in person. I'm going to order some juice right now, and uh, we'll, well be you can in go touch. to Costco. We're at Costco's in uh, Long Island, uh, New York, right now. At, uh, we're think New York and New Jersey Costco's just launched last week. So make sure to go in and grab a pack. Awesome. All right, man. Good to see you. I'm glad to reach out. Talk to you soon. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. Thanks.